Hey guys, I want to show you this useful extension for Visual Studio Code. It's called Saslin and it will help clean up your CSS files. Now, to install this, you will need um, to install an npm package. So if you just do npm install hyphen g sas hyphen lint, the extension will then pick that up automatically. Now, to see some of it in action, I've got an LTSS file here. You can see some green squiggly lines already from when I've been running it. If we run the show output command that Sassin has, is the only command there. We've got some problems. And now these all match the rules. So the problem is, or the warning, file extensions are not allowed. And that matches the clean import paths rule. The rule name there is useful because you can customize the rules within your project. And I'll show you that in a second. But we can see it doesn't like the extension. So if we remove our extension there, the problem goes away. Um, we've got, this is an old CSS file, so we've got a lot of uh, things going on. But it's great for also ordering your properties, it'll tell you. Um, so here it says expected border found padding. So it wants you to switch those around to be in alphabetical. And now we've got rid of two problems. So it's a great tool for clearing up your CSS. Um, I'll go into the customization, which it does offer. So if we open up, a, this is um, my blog's uh, project. But I've created a um, SAS lint file here. So you need to start with a dot. And then for the rules, I've done class name format. And I've set that to zero, which will take that rule out of throwing up any um, errors. And this is so I can use BEM. Um, naming struct convention. So if I go to another um, CSS file I've updated a bit, you can see here uh, these sort of things aren't throwing an issue where they were um, with the extension previously. And it also tells you things like to use variables if you're using hex codes. Um, we can probably see it here actually. Um, <clears throat> so let's run our command. Oh, run our command. Oh, not there. Okay. Run our command again. And yeah, color literals such as this should be only used in variable declarations. So it's telling you to change that into something like. Um, Light white, if that makes sense. And then that will get rid of the issue. Of course, you'll need to uh, define that somewhere. But yes, it's, it's helped me clean, clean up some of my um, other files without me having to um, rack my brain too much, checking everything's in alphabetical. And it's making sense that way. So one of those good extensions that Visual Studio Code has. Cheers, guys.